Hey everybody, it's a beautiful January day and I'm super excited to be heading out ice fishing. Stick around on this outdoor adventure. My name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by clicking the subscribe, the like, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get fishing. Folks, we are finally set up. Always takes a little bit of time to uh, get the gear together, but um, I guess it's just after 11th. It is the end of uh, January, so it's January 29th, just about 11. Um, just me today, as you can see. This will have been my, I think, third trip out to this lake. So again, I'm at Wabaman Lake. I do have a couple of walleye tags for fish that are under 43 centimeters. So um, it would be nice to be able to catch a fish or two. Um, you know, and if I do catch something that fits inside the size limit, um, I may consider taking it home with me. Um, what else can I tell you? It's a pretty nice day. It's probably just around freezing or maybe just above freezing, but from walking on the ice and dragging the sled out here, and um, you know setting up the tent drilling the holes I'm super warmed up basically stripped right down to just my base layer and coveralls at my waist right so um, I got two holes I have a jaw jacker off to the left of me with a minnow on it and a little red uh, jig head and then uh, I'm jigging here with a green jig head with a minnow on it Interesting of note, the hole that I'm jigging in right now is right under a bunch of weeds, which I don't know if I really like, to be honest with you, but we'll see. We'll give it a shot here, and um, you know, if this doesn't really work, I might just try to punch a hole here behind me and then just cover up this one with my bin or something like that, but uh, we'll see. I just am a little skeptical that I might get tangled in around these weeds, so we'll see how it plays, but... I uh, have a few hours to fish. I can probably stick around and fish for maybe around four hours or so. Uh, i got some plans later this afternoon around dinner time. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. Today we're doing up some ham garlic sausage. We're going to put them on some buns with some mustard. Let's get cooking. bit of a weird lunch um, like I said I was gonna do something different with some beans and wieners um, but I know that my kid is looking forward to that so at the gas station I decided just to get some stuff here to make some ham sausage sandwiches instead and uh, we'll save the beans and wieners for another day so because I was gonna cook the beans and wieners in that little pot I didn't really have anything else to cook the sausage with thought about just cooking it I might try actually just to grill it right on the flame maybe um, but I also don't want to get grease all over the stove but I might do that on the next one but first one's pretty good mm -hmm. all right well <clears throat> it's just after 12 I parked the truck about 10 had found the spot, drilled the holes, set up the tent, so I've been probably fishing for about an hour and a half. I've had lines in the water even while I made lunch. It's been slow. I haven't seen anything swim by, haven't had any bites, so that's uh, not a good sign. Um, I can fish today till probably around 3, so I uh, think right away what I'm going to do is pack everything up into the sled, probably move 50 or 100 yards out into deeper water, and uh, that might get me a bit deeper. and. Hopefully we'll have some action out that way. But before I do, I uh, want to 
thank a few channels who've been really supportive to me and I want to remind you of an upcoming giveaway that I'm planning. So I mentioned in the last video that I'm super pumped that I've exceeded 400 subscribers and I'm marching to 500. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I am going to be giving away one of my DC Outdoors toques and a few decals to one of my lucky subscribers. So again, once I hit 500 subscribers, I will be announcing the details of that giveaway uh, in the video um, after I hit 500. Um, I also want to thank a couple of channels again that have been really supportive to my channel. Um, first, I want to thank a fellow named Ray who runs a channel called World's Fastest Tube. And so Ray is a self-proclaimed old coyote. Uh, he is honestly a master outdoorsman, a guy that's been out fishing and hunting and enjoying the outdoors for years and years and has so much wisdom to share. Um, he's harvested some absolutely record animals, record fish, and he runs a really cool channel uh, where he talks about um, you know those those successful hunts or fishing trips and you know gives a lot of advice and really cool info love his channel listening to him talk is honestly just like you know sitting around and chatting you know with a with an old timer at a coffee shop i mean like i said he, the the stories that ray has is amazing so um i know he's been trying to build his channel and he wants to see it grow um so please do me a favor and check out world's fastest tube um i also want to thank and uh, recommend that you check out a channel called Choir Boys Cutlery. It's run by a fella called Scab. So uh, Choir Boys Cutlery uh, does a lot of knife reviews, also Fired Up Fridays, bushcraft and camping stuff. Um, one of the things I really like about Choir Boys Cutlery is that Scab brings a ton of awareness to the fact that veterans, um, 22 veterans a day in America, you know, take their own lives, which is an absolutely a horrible statistic. And, uh, you know, a big thing that Scab does is he reminds veterans that they have a place. They're loved and they're appreciated. So, um, you know, do me a favor and uh, bump over to Choir Boys Cutlery and, uh, you know, check out the channel, give it a subscribe. With both of those channels, you know, tell them that uh, DC Outdoors sent you there. And, um, you know, like I said, I think you'll enjoy both of those. Anyways, um, as I mentioned, I think I'm going to clean up this spot, move a little bit deeper, and uh, I'll catch up with you all in a few minutes. When you're cleaning up, or when you're setting up, your jaw jacker or your tip up, really, it's gotta be the first thing you set up and the last thing to clean. So I'm gonna let this guy continue to work for me as I load everything up in the sled and then we'll shove on. We've relocated, it's one o'clock. I can maybe fish, like I said, for about another hour or two. I'm a lot deeper than where I was before. I can uh, still see the bottom, but uh, like I said, I'd imagine I was, I'm probably more like in 20 feet, maybe even a little bit deeper. Um, yeah, hoping that this helps a little bit. We'll see what's up. Yet again, haven't seen anything swim by. Haven't had any bites. It's been pretty slow. Um, there's a lot of other fishermen out and around which I'll show you right away and to be honest I haven't heard anybody really screaming or yelling or kind of indicating that anybody's catching much so maybe it's just slow fishing out here but it's a beautiful day anyway um, super nice weather and it's good to be outdoors well I think I will start cleaning up but uh, if you made it this far again I want to thank you for watching I uh, appreciate you spending some time with me here today and uh, if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well, please hit the subscribe, the like, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.